Hello there. All right, this is an email from Kathy. Kathy says, hey Tabitha, I've been in recovery for anorexia for two weeks now after a hell of a year, trying to my best to respond to physical and mental hunger cues, which means I pretty much eat all day, every day. Good for you. That's exactly what you should be doing. Recently, I decided to get some blood tests done to make sure I didn't have refeeding syndrome. Thankfully, I don't, and I'm no longer at risk. However, the two doctors I saw were shocked when I gave them a caloric guesstimate of how much I'd been eating, and essentially, I was told that I should be aiming for between 2,000 and 2,500 calories a day, and that I shouldn't be in such a rush to gain weight, and that I need to be eating a healthier amount. And then she's putting brackets, even though I'm literally starving, need to gain like a load of pounds in order to be considered a healthy weight and have mental illness that applies on new Eric obsessions. Not this so contradicts all the research and experiences recovery that I've um, had. And um, honestly, I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed and triggered by their advice, although I logically know that if I followed it, I would feel terrible physically and set myself up for failure mentally with counting calories and all that. Anyway, I have an appointment with a nutritionist next week. She's not an eating disorder specialist, by the way. She wants me to keep track of everything I eat for three days and log it in a journal, which I'm a little nervous about. Do you think this is a good idea at this point in my recovery? Well, it doesn't matter what I think, because you evidently don't think it's a good idea, do you, Kathy? Because you wouldn't be nervous about it if it was a good idea. And so, in the same way, you're doing a really great job of listening to your body by eating without restriction. Do that with other things as well. Listen to your gut. This doesn't sound like a good idea to you, does it? Logging your food intake for three days and all that stuff. If it makes you nervous about it, I wouldn't do it. Um, and honestly, it sounds like you're doing great, actually. If you're eating all day and you're eating to mental and physical hunger, then you're doing, you're, I think you're doing good. Um, so much for the doctors that told you to eat count calories and eat a certain amount like can can we please get past this can we get past this old-fashioned view of what eating disorders are and how they should be treated your own body is telling you that it wants to eat a load of food which is entirely appropriate because it's been in malnutrition and the way that you um cure or heal malnutrition is via nutrition and so if your body has been in caloric deficit for a long time, it's entirely appropriate that it want to eat a huge amount of food. And can we just get past this? Can we just like stop oh, making this to be, be a big deal? It's, it makes sense. It's common sense that if you are in deficit of something, the way that you get out of deficit is by having a larger than normal amount of that thing until you're out of deficit. Uh, it really actually makes me angry um because it's so damaging for people in recovery to be told that shit you're doing the brave thing by eating without restriction it takes a lot of guts when you have a restrictive eating disorder to say i'm going to follow my hunger and i'm going to do that and then some random doctors are like oh well are you sure that's a good idea like what the fuck are they thinking there's someone here that's in obvious malnutrition, has anorexia, and she's eating a lot, and they're like, oh, are you sure that's... Like, oh my God, you can't even make this stuff up. Um, anyway, so about so the food logging thing. Well, if you have a restrictive eating disorder, the chances are is that you are hyper-aware of what you're eating at all times. The last thing we need to do is log what we're eating. I know that when I had a restrictive eating disorder, when I had anorexia, you could have asked me, what did you eat at three weeks ago on a Tuesday evening? And I would have been able to tell you because it's like my brain auto logged everything for years, what I'd eaten. I was hyper aware around food. So the last thing that we need to do is bring more awareness to what we're eating. What you need to be practicing is mindlessness around eating. You've got to practice eating and forgetting and not letting yourself overanalyze what you're eating. I don't think keeping a food log is particularly helpful at doing that. Sounds a bit disordered to me, doesn't it? Writing down what you eat. Dave, do you write down what you eat? No, she doesn't because she doesn't have an eating disorder. Dave, do you think that you should start writing down what you eat? Hmm? Hmm, Dave?